Hi everyone. On a past video, I talked about on how to improve the image of the Xiaomi Mi Sphere 360 camera. One of the tricks was to use uh, stacking medium on Photoshop with uh, multiple shots using the same exposure. By the way, this uh, kind of trick has some uh, um, bad things like moving uh, clouds uh, or moving trees or other things that can um, degrade the quality, create some blurriness on some part of the image. Today, I will show you a mixed technique between the stacking medium from Photoshop and the stacking created from the Candauro Plus software, that is a free software from Candau. The only thing uh, um, that Candauro Plus needs is to use raw files. So <clears throat> we need to use only DMG files from our Xiaomi Mi Sphere 360 camera. The first thing we need to do is to load our images, our DMG files to um, Photoshop Camera Raw and assign the correct DCP profile, color profile. So let's click on open and browse <clears throat> Sorry, and browse where the DNG files are stored. I choose it for DNG files because uh, I need something quicker to uh, let you see, and uh, because during uh, during a sunlight, a good sunlight day, only four DNGs are needed. So we need to select it all four files and press Enter to let the camera roll load the files. Once loaded, we need to select all the four files. So press left control key and A together. So they are, they are all four highlighted. And go to the right side on profile and click on the four rectangles and load the MiSphere profile. As you can see, the camera roll already changed the color profile. Once done, we need to click on close and check on detail if sharpening and noise redu reduction are all at zero. We don't need right now noise reduction since the stacking media already do some kind of noise reduction. If the image is still a little bit with some noise on, on the sky, we can later do on the final image some noise reduction. Okay, once we loaded the correct the core matrix from the CP profile, we just need to click on Done right there. The next step is to load all our four files to uh, the Kandao software. So right now I will search the Raw Plus file, sorry, Raw Plus uh, software. We need to select the correct uh, output folder just clicking on this little folder icon and in, in my case is already selected to test and click on select folder. When we need to go to add to load the four DNG files, click on open or press return key. One nice thing of the Candauro Plus is that we can set a reference picture. So the picture that we'll use it as the reference frame to elaborate all the our free uh, DNGs right now, but it can be 8, uh, 12, 16 um, DNG files as is um, written here. In my case, I already uh, checked and I prefer the 402 file as the main reference file. So I just need to click, click it and keep pressing and move it up. Okay, as you can see right now, is on the top of the our files. So this is set as the our reference file. Once done, we need to click on render and wait a few seconds until the software will stack and render the final image. The final image will have a KD row uh, label, so it is easy to recognize. Right now, we just need to close the software and load our files on, uh, as a stacking image on Photoshop. So click on Files, Scripts, 
load files into stack. You can choose to um, use file or folder if you have a single folder like me. So click on folder and click on browse. As you can see, I'm already on the correct folder. So I just need to select OK. And Photoshop will load all the four original DNG files plus the output from the Kandao row plus. Don't tick on attempt to align or create smart object right now. Just click on OK and wait until Photoshop will load all the four layers. OK, on the right side, on Layers tab, we have the four original DNGs right now on the top of the KD row DNG file. What we need to do now is to do the stacking median on the four original files. So we need to choose, <coughs> sorry, to choose all the four files and just click, no, sorry, just press the left uh, shift uh, key and click on the last one. You will see they are all four selected. Now right click over, over one of the files and choose convert to smart object. Wait a little bit and you can see this little icon and this is the smart object cre created. Now we need to go to layer Smart object, stack mode, and choose median. Wait a little bit until Photoshop ends to do the stack. Okay. Now we can see this little icon. That means that Photoshop applied the stack Im image filter. Now we can see the difference between the Kandao stacking and the Photoshop stacking. Just look at the ducks here. You can notice a little bit of blurriness on the edges. This is due to the movement of, of the um, ducks. If I hide the Photoshop staking um, layer, you can notice that the Kandao staking has uh, the perfect ducks with no movement. And you can also notice some difference on the water because the staking median emulates with, <coughs> sorry, with multiple shots, something like a long time exposure. So you can have um, um, the water look like is uh, the water is moving on the pictures. Okay. We can also notice on the after the difference from the Candao and the Photoshop stacking on the clouds here. You can easily see that the clouds have some trees and also the trees are a little bit blurred. Look right now that I hide the Photoshop. You can the Photoshop layer you can see the difference on the clouds and on the trees. Okay, so we now need to mix the two layers and this can be done using uh, the mask tool from uh, Photoshop. Just go down there and click on this little icon. This is the, uh, the quick tool for the um, layer mask. Right now is completely white, so it's completely transparent. Everything from the Photoshop layer is over the Kandao layer. So I normally prefer to use the Erase tool instead of the Brush tool to um, add or remove some part of the layer because the Erase tool is a little bit quicker on the image and has uh, some uh, has uh, sharp edges and I prefer to blur the edges manually um, just is my preference so I will invert the um, layer from white to black pressing ctrl i and right now you can see we have just the uh, Kandao 
um, layer visible and I press E to choose the eraser tool and I need that the background color is the white one. If you don't have uh, if, if you don't have a white, the white layers as um, background, you just need to press X to invert between the two the two. So what I want now is to erase some of these little particles. So I will recover this part from the um, Photoshop layer. As you can see, I'm masking or I'm recovering this part from the Photoshop layer. And you can also see where the mask is applied or not, pressing the slash key. As you can see, where you the part where are not in red are the visible one or the part that is in white on the layer mask. So I do this one, okay. I can also select some of the water here so it looks like it is moving. Okay, like this. Here too, a little bit. You can also reduce the size of the eraser tool, right click on the on the picture and move this value left or right like this. Okay, and then just click again and move it. Okay. Now I will just let you see quickly how to do it. Nothing so fancy here too. Okay. We can also recover the, uh, this part from the Photoshop so we can erase a little bit the biker here. The biker, is, uh, it appears like a ghost because I, I use it only four shots. If you use more like six or, or eight and the biker move, you don't have this kind of a ghost right here. This is just a quick sample to let you know how to use it. As you can see, this, one, this person here, you can erase it easily since he moved a lot during the shots. And this one to here. Okay. Let's take off some particle here too. We need to increase it. Right click, increase, and left click here. Okay. Just a, a quick one, nothing, I repeat, nothing so fancy, just to let you know how to do it. And also, we recover some moving water here. Now, time exposure. Okay. Okay. Once you have done, you can go to layer and flat the image. So, right now, we have just a single background image. And we are ready to do our final editing if the picture needed and then stitch on the nice uh, and good uh, misphere converter if needed. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.